Today, the court once again walked away from decades of precedent and make, as the dissent has made clear. The dissent states in today's decision, quote, rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress, end of quote. I agree with that statement from the dissent. From, from the dissent. <clears throat> the court has effectively ended affirmative action in college admissions, and I strongly, strongly disagree with the court's decision. I've always believed that the promise of America is big enough for everyone to succeed and that every generation of Americans, we have benefited by opening the doors of opportunity just a little bit wider to include those who have been left behind. So today I want to offer some guidance to our nation's colleges as they review their admission systems after today's decision. Guidance that is consistent with today's decision. They should not abandon, let me say this again, they should not abandon their commitment to ensure student bodies of diverse backgrounds and experience that reflect all of America. What I propose for consideration is a new standard, where colleges take into account the adversity a student has overcome when selecting among qualified applicants. The court says, quote, nothing in this opinion should be construed as prohibiting universities from considering an application's discussion of how race has affected his or her life, but, it's, it's through, but be it through discrimination or inspiration or otherwise, end of quote. Because the truth is, we all know it, discrimination still exists in America. Discrimination still exists in America. Discrimination still exists in America. Today, <clears throat> I'm directing the Department of Education to analyze what practices help build a more inclusive and diverse student bodies and what practices hold that back. Practices like legacy admissions and other systems <clears throat> expand privilege instead of opportunity. Colleges and universities should continue their commitment to support, retain, and graduate the first students and classes. We're going to have plenty of time to talk about this, but we're not going to let this break us. Thank you. President Biden, the Congressional Black Caucus said the Supreme Court has thrown into question its own legitimacy. Is this a rogue court? This is not a normal court. 